Imagine something so massive, so powerful, that even the concept of size begins to lose meaning. That's TUN-618, one of the largest known black holes in the entire universe. Located over 10 billion light years away, TUN-618 isn't just big, it's staggering. This cosmic monster is estimated to have a mass of 66 billion suns. To even picture that, think of our own Milky Way galaxy. The black hole at its center, Sagittarius A star, is about 4 million solar masses. TUN-618 is nearly 17,000 times bigger. But let's take a step back. What exactly is TUN-618? It's what astronomers call a quasar, a black hole so enormous and so active that as it devours surrounding matter, the energy released outshines entire galaxies. In fact, TUN-618 is so bright that we can see it from across the cosmos, even though it's unimaginably far away. And here's the kicker. The light we see from TUN-618 began its journey over 10 billion years ago. That means we're not even looking at what it is today. We're looking at what it was when the universe was just a fraction of its current age. So how do you even measure something like this? Astronomers study the gas and radiation emitted by quasars, analyzing how fast material is moving around the black hole. From that, they estimate its mass. And the math here is jaw-dropping. The gravitational pull of TUN-618 is so strong that nothing, not even light, escapes once it passes the event horizon. And that event horizon alone would stretch across nearly 400 billion kilometers. For scale, that's about 40 times the diameter of our entire solar system. And yet, as impossible as this sounds, TUN-618 may not even be the biggest black hole out there. It's just the biggest we've detected so far. That means somewhere hidden behind the curtain of deep space, there could be black holes even larger, swallowing entire galaxies whole. So here's what really bends the mind. Black holes like TUN-618 challenge our very understanding of physics. According to our current models, a black hole this size shouldn't even exist, at least not so early in the universe. So how did it form? The most likely answer is that TUN-618 started as a smaller black hole in the early universe and grew by consuming everything around it, stars, gas, even other black holes. Over billions of years, it reached a size that makes human comprehension almost meaningless. To visualize it, imagine our sun. Now imagine 66 billion of them. That's the gravitational weight TUN-618 carries. If TUN-618 were placed in the center of our solar system, its event horizon would extend beyond Neptune, engulfing every planet we know. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, all gone. <laughs> but here's the wildest thought. TUN-618 is still active. It's still feeding, still pulling in matter, still blazing with energy as one of the brightest quasars in the sky. What we see today is only a glimpse of its past. Who knows how much bigger it has become in the 10 billion years since that light left. Black holes like TUN-618 also raise deep philosophical questions. If the universe can create objects this large and this powerful, what else is out there? What's the ultimate limit? And what does it mean for the fate of galaxies caught in their pull? When you look up at the night sky, it feels endless. But somewhere out there, far beyond what our eyes can see, TUN-618 lurks as a reminder. The universe isn't just vast, it's terrifyingly powerful. And despite all of our telescopes, equations, and theories, we're only scratching the surface of understanding what truly lies beyond. So the next time you think about the universe being big, remember TUN-618. It's not just big. It's the closest thing to infinity we've ever found. TUN-618 isn't just massive. It's a cosmic engine reshaping its environment. The quasar's energy output is so extreme that it can outshine entire galaxies, pouring out more light than trillions of suns combined. Imagine a lighthouse so powerful it can be seen from billions of light years away. That's TUN-618. Scientists believe the black hole's jets, streams of particles moving close to the speed of light, may stretch across millions of light years, altering the fate of galaxies in its path. This feedback can strip galaxies of gas, halting star formation, or compress matter to ignite new stars. In other words, TUN-618 doesn't just sit there, it sculpts the universe around it. And here's the wildest part. TUN-618 may only be one of many. We've only mapped a fraction of the cosmos. If an object this massive can exist, it begs the question, what else is out there hidden beyond our reach? Could there be even larger black holes lurking in the darkness waiting to be discovered? 
When we study Tun618, we're not just staring at a black hole, we're looking at the limits of cosmic extremes, and perhaps even clues to how the largest structures in the universe form.